Hi, I'm Jay, and today on Jay's World Kitchen, we're making cinnamon buns. Who doesn't love the smell of cinnamon? And when you're walking through a mall and you walk past places that are making cinnamon buns, that smell just permeates the air. Today I'm going to show you this really simple, easy and straightforward recipe um, to make your own very tasty cinnamon buns at home. Let's have a look at the ingredients. There are three main components to this. The first is a dough, the second a filling, and finally a glaze for the top. To start off with, you're gonna start with two cups of warm water, a half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of yeast, and you're gonna put those together and let the yeast bloom. After that, you're gonna need two eggs, a third of a cup of oil, three cups of flour, and two teaspoons of salt. Let's start putting this together. So to start off, we're going to put our flour into a larger mixing bowl. I'm going to use that one after, so I'm going to take our yeast mixture, which has bloomed very nicely for us, and we're going to put that in. I'm going to add, that, add in our eggs and our salt and our oil. Very, very simply, just put it all together and slowly start mixing this together. You can use a, a, mix, a mixer, an electric mixer if you have, or a dough, something with a dough hook. Uh, I just like to do it by hand. I think by now you guys know that about me. And I'm just using the back of the spoon to sort of mix it all together. It is quite a loose dough. Um, you may want to add a little bit more flour depending on where you live, uh, making sure to break up those eggs too, because you want them to mix in well. So this really does make quite a loose dough and you want it to be nice and soft because you want it to be tender but you want it to be nice and smooth as well so make sure that it is very well mixed. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it out into another, another bowl that's got some oil in it. Uh, flip it over so that the oil coats the whole dough and leave it to rise for about an hour covered with some plastic and a tea towel. While our dough is resting and rising for about an hour, we're going to quickly prepare some stuff to put onto it. So we're going to start off with uh, two and a half cups of sugar. Now I've just used white sugar, but you can actually mix it with brown sugar if you prefer. Some people prefer to only use brown. Uh, I like to use white sugar just the way I am, but if you want to sort of like slightly molasses flavor to it, uh, brown sugar works really well. And I've got about a half a cup uh, of cinnamon and very simply, you're just going to mix the two together. There's nothing else to it. Um, and mix that really well so that it's quite evenly uh, distributed throughout the sugar. So our cinnamon bun dough has been resting for an hour. And as you can see, it has risen up rather nicely and filled our bowl very nicely. A little bit stuck to the plastic, but that's okay. Take that off. Now I warn you, it is going to be a little loose. That's okay, because we're going to generously flour our surface and then we're going to start rolling this out. All right, 
And now that it's rolled out, we're going to melt our uh, butter and uh, spread that over the top. So we're going to take our melted butter and just sort of cover the entire dough with it. And I'm just using a basting brush just to make sure that it covers the whole lot. You can add more butter if you like, you know how I feel about butter. And now you're going to take your cinnamon sugar and pretty much sprinkle it over the entirety of this. And again, this is ready to taste if you want to add more cinnamon or more sugar. Nothing wrong with either of those. On top of that delicious melted butter. And then what you're going to start doing is you're going to roll this up into a sausage. And I'm starting from the narrower side. And once it comes together in a sausage, you're going to take a 9 by 12 pan. And I'm sort of cutting off probably about one and a half inch pieces and plopping them down in the pan. Now you can use a, like a dental floss or something like that. I don't have any unflavored dental floss in my house. And once that's ready, we're gonna cover it in plastic, put a, another cloth over it and leave it to rise until about double in size, so about an hour. And our cinnamon buns have been resting for the better part of an hour and whoa they really are have filled up the tray very nicely i'm going to throw them into a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes and uh, after that we'll have our taste test i'm excited smell of cinnamon has permeated the whole house. It's amazing um, and I just cannot wait to tuck into this. I've pulled out a little corner but I can guarantee this won't be the only piece I'm eating right now. Um, but for the purposes of tasting it, I'm going to break off a nice piece of the outside here. Oh there's just there's a ton of cinnamon in there and it just looks so good. It smells amazing. Mm. Oh, that's magic. That is incredible. That dough is light and, and fluffy and not heavy at all. And it's just the cinnamon and that sugar, that glaze on top, just top it off and finish it off perfectly. Man, that's good. You've got to try these. And if you do, I would love to hear how it turned out for you. Please leave your comments below. I do love to hear your feedback. And remember, I'm still looking for questions uh, for an upcoming Q&A episode. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Remember, you can also follow me on my social media. Those links are below in the comment section, as well as my Patreon, where you can support this channel for as little as $5 a month. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.